Alright, bro, what you getting done today, man? Uh, can I get a, a bald low fade? Bald low fade. When you say low, do you mean you want the fade to stay low or you want it tight on the uh, side? I mean drop fade. Oh, you want to drop fade? Yeah, drop and then what do you want on top? Uh, I'm not going to cut the top. Don't touch the top, right. drop fade. Alright, you say you want that design. Alright, that's what he wants, guys. He wants the design just like that. Alright, let's do it. YouTube, what's going on guys? Listen, we're gonna start this off with a number four and come off the shape of his head because what he told me was he doesn't want me to like flatten the bulk around the sides. So I'm not gonna flatten it, but I am gonna create some sort of transition to prepare it for my fade. Now, when he went and showed me an Instagram perfectly shot photo <laughs> with, with, you know, amazing lighting and stuff, I already know how you you guys might feel about that you guys might be able to relate it's intimidating it's intimidating because not everybody has a perfect head of hair right everybody's hair texture is different this is going to be much more difficult because he wants more bulk and length kept on the sides and so i'm going to create try to create a low fade with a lot longer hair on the sides and a design on top and try to do, do it to the best of my ability so in in order to do this um I've decided to fade down, clearing the bulk, fading down. It's going to allow me to control how much weight I can keep on the sides while preparing it for a fade because I know that if I can keep the bulk that he's looking to keep on the sides and get the side, the like bottom portion down to like a one and a half, that is going to be ideal to put a low fade on because then I'm just fading to a one and a half, all right? So I'm going down, start with clip over comb, then I went to a four, three, two, till I get to that one and a half, and then I'll be comfortable, or to that number two guard close, and then I'll be comfortable putting that, that low fade on him. And like, this hair texture is difficult. This is. To me, this is one of the hardest hair textures. With this haircut, oh my gosh. So I'm, I'm gonna try to figure it out. So we're gonna put a rough draft of the design. It's not gonna be perfect. I probably asked him to pull out his phone 50 times just to make sure that I'm doing it as close as I possibly can to what the design was. Um, and so I'm taking my time here. It's just a rough draft. We'll detail it a little bit later on with the razor and um, making the lines a little thicker so they pop a little bit more. But I start off with a, with a, with a rough draft just to better be safe than sorry. All right, and with designs, you have two lines to cut, the bottom portion and the top. So I'm doing the bottom portion now, thickening, thickening the line where it needs to be thicker. And right away you can you can tell that his hair is a lot shinier than the person in the picture so it's not gonna look as dark so it's not gonna pop as much so we're definitely going to do our best to make this cut the best we can but the design by doing both both sides of the line is starting to pop a little bit more so then we're gonna lace the um the fade on there and let's see what we can what we can do with this all right so now we are at a one and a half guard perfect we have a nice foundation, a nice base to implement that low drop fade that he, he's looking to get. And you can see we kept that bulk that he was looking to keep on the sides there. Good amount of weight there. Oh, and guys, special announcement to you guys. If you didn't know, my cousin Tito Beats has now created a website where you can subscribe to his site and you'll get five um, copyright free, royalty free beats every single month delivered to you for a small subscription. 
small fee. I think it's like 10 bucks a month and you'll get five royalty frees delivered to you every single month. You'll get you know five new beats every month. If you're interested in that, if you're an influencer or you're 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 an artist or anything like that, there's a great way to have you know five pieces of inspiration delivered to you every single month. Um, and he's got a huge catalog as well. So I'll put a link in the description with his website. And uh, yeah, support support small business, man. <laughs> okay, so we we started off with the blade open. And now we're going to blend down from that one and a half guard to that blade open. So remember, we, we have a one and a half guard. Okay, so the next step under that is the one guard open. And now you can see I'm using the half guard. And this half guard should totally blend out that line that we created with the blade open. I'm going to repeat that again. The steps that we're doing right now. We lowered it in the beginning of the haircut. We debulked it to a one and a half guard. That red guard. Okay. Underneath that, we went with a one guard all the way open. Closed it. And then underneath that, we went with the half guard all the way open and closed it until that line that we created with the blade open is gone. And then at this point, we're taking that blade all the way open again and closing it little by little until it's all the way closed. And then we'll bald it out with the trimmers. Once we've we've completed this, we can go back in detail. We want to look at it from different angles and make sure that it's looking like a nice fluid blend. So we went down to clip all the way closed. Now I'm going to put that C cup on him. I'm going to line it up. Tito, let's get it. That C cup's gonna really make this pop. All right, so once we've implemented that C cup, we can go ahead and bald it out. This is just a safe way, a safe strategy to cut somebody up who you know is going to be difficult, but you want to give them the blurriest low drop fade you can. You know what I'm saying? This is a safe way to do it, especially since it's the first time I cut his hair. And look at his hair. I haven't even cut the top and look at how the cowlick is sticking out. <laughs> it's an intimidating cut. All right, so now we're gonna do this side and it's the same steps. So remember, we started off, our base was a one and a half guard. Underneath that, we are using the one guard all the way open, as you can see, closing it little by little and preparing it so that we can grab the half guard and work beneath that. So again, here's the black guard. Now here's the green guard and we're working underneath that. It's all the way open and we'll close it as needed. You can see the blend is starting to cut. You're starting to see some transitions, some gradients here. Okay, now I close it up even more and I'm working right beneath where I just left off. On top of that, he has that famous indent at his neck. You know what I'm saying? That makes it even harder. Kids have it really bad. But he still he still has it. That doesn't make that doesn't make it any easier for a drop fake. Alright? So I went back, I jumped back to my one guard just to detail a little bit more above where I just left off with that half guard. And now we are using our blade all the way open. And as we blend down, we're going to go ahead and close that lever little by little. We'll put the C cup on them and then ball them out. Now, I'm going to keep, you know, keep it dark above the design. So above the design, the top line of the design, it's a one and a half guard. Below it is where most of the fade is going to be just so that because you don't want to put go above um, the top line of the design and then you destroy the design because it's not as there's no contrast. It doesn't pop as much. So the bald, the balding, the bald area needs to be below the design. And that bottom line, you want to try to keep dark as well.
you guys can see from this angle that blend is is pretty fluid it's flowing into the back into that drop pretty nicely this is why cutting at angles definitely helps Oh yeah, that's flowing nice into that drop in the back. All right, at this point we're all the way closed. And the next step is to line up that C cup and ball out the bottom with the trimmers. Now, if you notice with this number three, I'm not going in to the hair. I'm, I'm scooping out and I'm using my blending shears here just to soften up some of those ridges. Alright, and now I'm going back and detailing different lighting, different angles, different clippers. <laughs> just trying to just trying to get it to to as decent a blend as I can get it. Alright? And so in order for me to get anywhere near what that picture he showed me was, we are going to enhance it, get those lines to pop, and make the design stand out a little bit more. I'm using the Sean Cuts Hair template, which you can get from his Instagram at Sean Cuts Hair. And when I spray, I'm using the overspray, guys. I probably could have got away with making the lines a little thicker and I think that was my intent with the razor to make it a little thicker with the razor but I still think I could have got away with, with, with the lines being a little wider. But now I know next time, I mean I won't, I won't, I don't know if I'll ever cut his hair again because he, he came from out of town. But now I know for next time, you know, if it was one of my clients that was going to visit me or whatever, I would, I would make the lines a little bit thicker next time. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and put some 245 clay in his hair, which he immediately asked me what I used. This is the best, to me, this is the best style for him, especially since, you know, his hair is crazy. It, make, it allows his hair to be his hair, be itself, um, while looking groomed, right? And so now I'm gonna line his hairline up, because when I style it, it pushes the hair that belongs 
off of the hairline, it pushes it away. So now it's easier to line it up as opposed to just clipping the hair in the beginning and doing it. I want the hair that naturally should be with the hair on top up there. And guys, this is it. This is the finished cut. I think it came out decent. Um, I feel like this is a level 10 difficulty cut in my opinion. Um, but this is the after, guys. If you like what you saw, man, let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash the like button, man. That's the best way you can support any YouTube channel. Love you guys. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next video.